What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwit and I'm back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and today guys what I want to do is open some packs and talk about my Dallas Cowboys a little bit because they're looking like one of the best teams in the league right now. Just came off of a huge win against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle and damn it, it just it doesn't feel like it's real at this point it feels like it's like like almost like a dream come true that the cowboys are actually a decent team again i've been a fan of them for more than 20 years at this point and i have gone through so much terrible terrible football and uh so much terrible quarterback play and it's great to see tony romo playing as well as he is it's great to see just the entire team gelling obviously the offensive line and demarco murray are getting the vast majority of the credit as they should the defense is playing exceptionally well as well so uh it's it's just been awesome and i'm so happy to, to uh be a cowboys fan and be having all this stuff happen here in 2014 in a season when I didn't expect them to do anything. I really didn't expect that uh, they would be able to even run the ball at all. I was expecting them to have a decent passing game, but uh, as we get two bronze packs or badges, of course, that's about that's about par for the course for me on these bronze packs or on these uh, GMC packs anyway. Although I will say I didn't record it on accident because I didn't even realize that there were uh, there were actually. Uh, badges in these team of the week packs but last week in my team of the week pack I actually got a uh, an elite badge so that was pretty awesome can't deny it let's see here other one and we need a silver okay well that couldn't could be a lot worse all right let's open up this team of the week pack there we go and okay a silver and a bronze okay so basically we got uh what was that three bronzes and two silvers so could be worse could be worse and then we get of course the uh, team of the week master for week six toss that into the set but what i wanted to do here was open up maybe let's open up five pro packs how's that so i can give you guys just a little bit of uh, a taste of some of the content that's out there right now uh we'll open up these with coins for right now uh, there was actually a whole bunch of Team of the Week cards that got released today, like a Matt Forte, a T.Y. Hilton, a Rob Ninkovich. Um, I know a Joe Flacco got released. Hey, a Mark Barron. That's not bad. Um, at least for a gold card, anyway. Could be worse. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are the ones, obviously, that we're looking to pull right now. I know there, obviously, there's a whole bunch of good stuff out there right now. But those uh, those Team of the Week cards, some of them are going for a ridiculous amount. Like the Ninkovich, I think I saw going for like... 200,000 coins or something asinine like that. So um, that would be pretty kick-ass to pull. Uh, let's see here. What was the other one? Oh, yeah. T.Y. Hilton is, is the other one. And then, of course, the, the Von Miller and the Forte are your collection uh, cards. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, if I could pull either of those elites, that would be amazing. But any of the Team of the Weeks would be amazing, really. That would pretty much make back my coins for the most part. Donald Stevenson. Come on. I can't believe how bad my packs have been lately. I, although, I, like I said... Last week, I wasn't able to uh, upload it because I, I wasn't recording it when I got that Elite badge, but that's probably the best pull that I've had in a month of playing this game. So uh, hopefully I'm able to get something decent here. But yeah, like I said, man, um, these Dallas Cowboys are, of course, they troll me with this Rob Ninkovich. You kidding me, man? You kidding me, EA? Come on. Give me the real one, please. As I just get crap for the rest of it. I will, although I will say, I actually really like how those Jaguars jerseys look. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, but yeah, my Dallas Cowboys, man, defensively, I was fully expecting them to not just have a bad defense, but based off of what they did last year, they were like world-class shit on defense. <laughs> Truly, they were so, 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 so bad. And uh, I was expecting it to only be worse. Okay, I don't know if this is worth anything or not. But uh, retired number autogram collectible. I honestly have no idea what that's worth. Uh, I'm guessing not very much because I haven't heard anybody say anything about it. But that's cool though. I, I will take that at least and uh, try and look it up later today and see what I can uh, get out of that. But yeah, the Cowboys defense, man, they have played so much better than anyone could have possibly imagined, myself included. Um, and, and it's just so fun to watch because it's been so long since we've had any sort of even like decent de defense. It's always just been garbage, 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 just like these packs are right now. Um, I'm going to keep opening them up for a few minutes here while we talk, but it, it's just so much fun. 
to see like Russell Wilson here. Of course, he's getting all the credit for the Seattle Seahawks. Anytime that they win a game, it's, oh, look how good Russell Wilson is. Look how good he is. I mean, they won the Super Bowl. They wouldn't have been able to do it without Russell. And then it's like he comes out here against the Cowboys and throws for like, what, 130 yards? And like 50 of them came on one play in the early part of the game. Other than that, dude was awful all day. Tony Romo, meanwhile, absolute freaking beast. So, I mean, I love to see that because Tony Romo is my dude, of course, and um, I know all these people always are hating on him and stuff, but Tony Romo, in my opinion, is the most irrationally hated football player that has ever existed in football that I'm that I'm aware of. Everybody just seems to hate him. Everybody thinks he's overrated, um, which is ridiculous because how can you be overrated if everybody thinks you're overrated? Wouldn't that just make you like rated where you are if you're not good? Like, I don't understand. It, it's just so, so stupid. But the reality is, is that Tony Romo is a really, really, really good football player. And uh, I mean, he's showing that this year he doesn't have to shoulder the whole load, which is nice because that's how it's been for the past like three, four years now. It's been horrible offense um outside of him they've been they haven't been able to run the ball because demarco murray hasn't been able to stay friggin' healthy and the defense has just been absolutely atrocious the offensive line has been absolutely atrocious but this year it's like everything's flipped romo is almost like he's i don't want to say game manager because that's like a um it's like a negative thing that people say but he hasn't had to put the team on his back nearly as much and the rest of the team is uh really stepping up and playing a hell of a lot better offensive line specifically I mean right now I don't think you could make a case that there is even close to as good of an offensive line as the Dallas Cowboys right now now I think Doug Free ended up getting injured near the end of the game so hopefully he's not out for any extended period of time I haven't looked and seen exactly what happened with him uh, by the way it's Eltron Werner card pretty damn good corner I would probably have him starting again if I could but we only have uh, we can only have one of them starting on our team at a time and I actually really do like that Werner card, like I said, but the speed on him is pretty mediocre. So he's not normally the kind of guy that I would use, but I don't know. He does pretty well for me. Don't take that as like a go out there and buy him or anything like that, but I, I tend to like him. Uh, yeah, anyway, though, so it's it's just been awesome to see the turnaround that the Cowboys have had as a franchise this year. And uh, it, it's just it's a huge improvement from anything that I could have possibly imagined. So I'm very, very happy about it. And that Keenan Allen there is about going to be the last card that I'm going to pull in this pack opening because I just, I'm not getting anything even moderately decent and I don't want to waste all my coins. I've already spent like, what, 60,000? I've probably made, what, 10,000 back maybe? So uh, that's not very fun. Let's just compare them to my current wide receivers. So 85 speed, that's pretty brutal. Uh, route running's pretty decent though his catching traffic is really good so I might actually use him because I actually throw into traffic a lot in this game which makes absolutely no sense I'm sure but I only do it against the computer because the computer's dumb so uh, I throw against into traffic a lot and my guys get hit as I'm catching it and they end up dropping it so that'll actually be a nice little improvement for me I think so I'll probably go ahead and start that Keenan Allen opposite Victor Cruz because I've needed another wide receiver I've actually been starting uh I don't even know if he's on here. I guess he wouldn't be because he's not listed at wide receiver. I've actually been starting a gold Reggie Bush at wide receiver just because he's so quick and uh, still has good catching and good route running and all that kind of stuff. So um, it'll be nice to have another wide receiver at least opposite of Victor Cruz, who, by the way, uh, sucks. I'm obviously a Cowboys fan, but it sucks that he's going to be out for the season with that torn patellar tendon injury. Um, absolutely brutal. Sucks for him. Sucks for the Giants. Uh, I wish the best to him because, you know, I, I want my team to beat the best. If they're going to be playing against the Giants, I want the Giants to be fully healthy and I want the Cowboys to beat them. So uh, it sucks. But at the same time, though, I guess it is a positive as far as Dallas's chances of winning in this upcoming game and also for the rest of the season because the Cowboys do always struggle for whatever reason against the Giants. So uh, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. And let me know, guys. What do you guys want to see me do? Do you guys want me to? Uh, do you guys want to see me do some? Uh, continue to do like pack openings and card reviews. Do you want me to do some gameplay? Because I haven't been doing really much at all gameplay, um, and that's mostly because I feel like I suck at this game right now, and I just need to get better. I've had so much stuff as far as like taking care of the baby and that kind of stuff that it, I haven't had as much time to practice playing, and I really don't want to get into a game and absolutely get blown out. So uh, that's why I haven't played much as far as gameplay goes. But I will actually be doing some gameplay at some point if you guys ask me and you want me to do that leave that in the comment section below uh, if you enjoy the card reviews and that kind of stuff i would be glad to continue doing that stuff as well i can mix it up as as well 
Uh, as far as pink slips goes, I will be doing that once I get through like probably one season of head-to-head -head seasons on here. And uh, I'll just show you guys if I can here. I'm trying to remember even exactly where it is. Um, yeah, head-to-head -head seasons. Look at my record here. Uh, does it even show it? Yeah, available after the season starts. I have actually not even played a single game on here. I don't know if it'll show you anywhere. But yeah, I haven't played a single head-to-head -head seasons game whatsoever. And like I said, the reason for it, and you can see it there on, on the screen, zero wins, zero losses. I just, I, I feel like I suck. I really do. I feel like I suck. I'm not ready to actually play head-to-head -head season games. I've, I've played a couple of games against people, just friendlies, and they went okay. Um, but I don't feel like I'm anywhere near as polished as I was in Madden 25, which is crazy because I started playing Madden 25 in like February and everybody else had already been playing since what, September. So everybody had like a six month gap of, uh, learning how to play the game and learning all the cheese plays and that stuff by the time I even got started playing in Madden 25. But man, this game just feels so much different. I, I really am not enjoying the actual gameplay of Madden 15. So... Uh, it's been tough, but I promise you guys I will be doing gameplay eventually. Promise I will. I will get into it. I'm going to say by next week I will have at least one gameplay, probably a head-to-head -head seasons game. Maybe we'll do some sort of wager or something like that. I don't know. Probably head-to-head -head seasons, though, so that I can get some practice in before I start wasting all my coins losing to you SOBs. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, make sure you press that like button. If you're new to the channel, also be sure to press the subscribe button. That's how you'll know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.